Good afternoon. Welcome to Southern Wesleyan University, particularly to Freedom's Hill Church, the first Wesleyan Methodist Church built in the South in 1848, an abolitionist church. I think it's very appropriate that we stand here today and have this Lenten meditation. These people who faced such difficulty, perhaps they speak to us today and give us faith for the difficulties that we face. This is a Lenten meditation service. There is no sermon, um, there is no singing. It is scripture, it is prayer, it is time to be quiet and to meditate. There should be an order of service in the comments so that you can follow along. Normally we would have people who would read and also who would uh, read responsibly, responsibly and um, antiphonally, but uh, today I will do the reading. So we begin this service by quieting ourselves. So let us take a few moments to center ourselves so that we can hear Christ's voice. One of the techniques that I use is to think of a drop of water landing in a pail of water. You see the splash and then you see the ripples as they go out and as they finally dissipate. So I'm going to ask you for just a few moments, whatever technique that you need to use, take a moment, center yourself, and then we'll begin the service of Liz Linton Meditation. Let us read together the call to worship. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us pray this prayer of invocation. O God, whose promises are true, help me never to stagger in disbelief at your promises, but to claim them as my own. In the name of Christ, amen. The psalm that we have been reading during this Lenten season is Psalm 25, verses 4 through 10. No one who hopes in you will ever be put to shame, but shame will come on those who are treacherous without cause. Show me your ways, Lord. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God my Savior, and my hope is in you all day long. Remember, Lord, your great mercy and love, for they are from of old. Do not remember the sins of my youth and my rebellious ways. According to your love, remember me, for you, Lord, are good. Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore, he instructs sinners in his ways. He guides the humble in what is right and teaches them his way. All the ways of the Lord are loving and faithful toward those who keep the demands of his covenant. This is the word of God. We will now enter into a time of silent prayer. Prayer for the church, 
prayer for others, prayer for the world, and we will pray for yourself as well. Let us enter into this time of prayer. Amen. Next, our reading for today is another psalm. Psalm 116, verses 1 through 9. The way that we do this is that we normally would read this out loud. Then there's a time of reflection to continue to read silently the scripture. One time, two times, three times. It's an ancient practice of holy reading, of Lexio Divina, of reading the scripture and asking God to speak to you through the scripture. There's also uh, a brief passage from a book by Richard Foster that may help you uh, to think about those words as well. So I'll read these, the scripture out loud and then I ask that uh, you reflect on them, read it over again, 
one, two, three times. Ask God, what is he saying to you in this? Maybe it's a sentence. Maybe it's a phrase. Maybe it's just a word. But in this meditation time, let us see what God is saying to us through his scripture. Psalm 116, verses 1 through 9. I love the Lord, for he heard my voice. He heard my cry for mercy. Because he turned his ear to me, I will call on him as long as I live. The cords of death entangle me. The anguish of the grave come over me. I was overcome by distress and sorrow. Then I called on the name of the Lord. Lord, save me. The Lord is gracious and righteous. Our God is full of compassion. The Lord protects the unwary. When I was brought low, he saved me. Return to your rest, my soul, for the Lord has been good to you. For you, Lord, have delivered me from death my eyes from tears, my feet from stumbling, that I may walk before the Lord in the land of the living. I will also read out loud uh, the brief passage from the book Money, Sex, and Power by Richard Foster. The powers are strong, but Christ is stronger still. The defeat of the powers is sure. We live in that life that overcomes the world, and we should expect to see the overthrow of the kingdom of darkness and the inauguration of the Lamb's rule of righteousness wherever we go. Let us now take time to reflect on God's word and to ask him what he is saying to us through the power of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray now the prayer that Christ taught us by saying, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done 
and earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And now this benediction. How good it is to know you, my Lord, as the one who ever lives to make your promise good. In this confidence, I go now in your name. Amen. I hope that you enjoyed this service. If you did, I would ask that you share it with others or tag people. You can join us next week on Friday for another Lenten meditation service. Thank you. God bless.